Before him, the world was black and white. After him, it was alive. This is the man who invented color TV. In Mexico, television is still king. Despite streaming, YouTube, and endless scrolling, the warm glow of a TV still dominates Mexican living rooms. In fact, over 90% of Mexican households own at least one set, more than those who own a smartphone. But how did TV became so central to Mexican life? The answer starts with one man, a self-taught engineer from Guadalajara who decided black and white was simply not enough. His name, Guillermo Gonzalez Camarena. And his invention didn't just change Mexico. It changed the way the world sees itself. Picture with me Mexico in 1940, fresh from the revolution, eager to look modern, electric streetcars rattled down the new avenues, electricity was reaching more and more homes, and radios were the latest must-have. Television, nah, that was still an exotic novelty reserved exclusively for upper Mexican class. A few Mexican engineers had been experimenting with it since the late 1920s. And in the middle of this small circle of engineers was a teenage tinkerer who'd already built his own TV camera from scrap metal and flea market parts. In 1939, at just 22 years old, González Camarena invented the trichromatic sequential field system. This is a spinning disc that captured red, green, and blue images like in quick succession, and then our brains blended them into one full color picture. This was brilliant, it was affordable, and most importantly, it was compatible with existing TV sets that some Mexicans already had. In 1940, he patented his invention here in Mexico, and two years later, he patented it in the United States. He refused to sell it to foreign companies, insisting that Mexico could lead in technology and not just consume it. And this started a commercial war. In the early 1950s, González Camarena launched his own channel, dedicated to educational and cultural programming. He thought that Mexico could have the next BBC. On February 8, 1963, Canal 5 aired Paraíso Infantil in full color, making Mexico only the fourth country in the world with regular color broadcasts after the United States, Japan, and Canada. De nuestro auditorio de televisión a colores, les agradecemos esta revolución infantil que han hecho nuestro programa. On April 18, 1965, while returning from inspecting a transmitter in Veracruz, González Camarena died in a car accident. He was just 48. At the time, he was preparing Mexico's broadcasting technology for the 1968 Olympics that were hosted here in Mexico. It's inevitable to think, what wouldn't he have achieved if he had lived on? But fortunately, his inventions are still with us. To mention one example, NASA adapted his color system for the Voyager missions, which gave us our first color images of Jupiter in 1979. Guillermo González Camarena didn't just bring color to television, he expanded the spectrum of what Mexico and the world believed possible. And I know, I know that we may be forcing the argument a little bit, but we Mexicans love to think that every time that you look at a screen, whether it's your cell phone or whether it's a TV set, we love to think that there's a little of Camarena's legacy in it. If you want to know more details on Camarena's story, make sure to read the article at the MND site and subscribe. <laughs>